here and uh, actually where I grew up. I'm uh, really enjoying it to ride uh, back home. That's where I can uh, refuel and uh, yeah, I'm on a long road ride on beautiful roads in the Swiss Alps. I got this fontaine named after me and uh, my dad built it then. And, yeah, something really nice and I'm really proud of it. Yeah, that's the house where I grew up. Here I'm sitting on the oven where my parents still heat the house with. I grew up here in a, in a mountain village there. There's no soccer field around or other things you can really do. So we always spent the time outside. First I started with ski races, uh, I did in winter also competitions in alpine skiing and in summer uh, I was mountain bike and in mountain bike I was a bit more successful than in skiing. <laughs> I like to see how the other guys are suffering, even if they are my friends. <laughs> Can I yeah, just enjoy the nature, and uh, yeah, I'm living in a in a perfect region to to ride my mountain bike and really have fun to ride with my friends. What's really nice if you can actually cook for friends, like tonight, have a nice braai outside and have a good conversation. Now here I'm preparing capoons with uh, special ones, gluten-free. As an athlete, you really have to care about what you what you eat. It gives you the energy, so you have to ride to the right moment. You have to eat the right stuff. So. I actually always, before training, I eat carbs, more carbs, in the evening more protein and uh, I always try to eat as healthy as possible and organic stuff or even stuff out of the garden. It's actually as important as training what you eat. It's not happening on the bike, it's also happening on the Vespa. Let's go. <laughs> 